Good afternoon and welcome to all of you who have come today on this beautiful fall day to celebrate the Eucharist together. And to those joining us electronically, virtually, welcome as well. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters gathered together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of the Maccabees. From the descendants of Alexander's officers, there sprang a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes, son of King Antiochus, once a hostage at Rome. He became king in the year 137 of the Kingdom of the Greeks. In those days, there appeared in Israel men who were breakers of the law, and they seduced many people, saying, Let us go and make an alliance with the Gentiles all around us. Since we separated from them, many evils have come upon us. The proposal was agreeable. Some from among the people promptly went to the king and he authorized them to introduce the way of living of the Gentiles. Thereupon, they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem according to the Gentile custom. They covered over the mark of their circumcision and abandoned the Holy Covenant. They allied themselves with the Gentiles and sold themselves to wrongdoing. Then the king wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, each abandoning his particular customs. All the Gentiles conformed to the command of the king, and many children of Israel were in favor of his religion. They sacrificed to idols and profaned the Sabbath. On the 15th day of the month of Chislev, in the year 145, the king erected the horrible abomination upon the altar of burnt offerings. 
and in the surrounding cities of Judah, they built pagan altars. They also burned incense at the doors of the houses and in the streets. Any scrolls of the law which they found, they tore up and burnt. Whoever was found with the scroll of the covenant and whoever observed the law was condemned to death by royal decree. But many in Israel were determined and resolved in their hearts not to eat anything unclean. They pre preferred to die rather than to be defiled with unclean food or to profane the holy covenant. And they did die. Terrible affliction was upon Israel. The word of the Lord. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Though the snares of the wicked are twined about me, your law I have not forgotten. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Redeem me from the oppression of men, that I may keep your precepts. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I am attacked by malicious persecutors who are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Far from sinners is salvation, because they seek not your statutes. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I beheld the apostates with loathing, because they kept not to your promise. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front be rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
The uh, story of the Maccabees that we're beginning uh, to read and proclaim this week is uh, not found in the Protestant scriptures. It's in those extra six books, two of them, uh, those extra books are the Maccabees. Uh, they're not included in the uh, Protestant scriptures because they're in Greek, they're not in Hebrew. And uh, our Protestant brothers and sisters use just the Hebrew books of the Old Testament. We include a couple of Greek books, uh, which means that they're uh, later writings. And this time period is about 165 years or so before Christ, uh, when the, well, we call it the Hellenization of the world was taking place after uh, uh, Alexander the Great, when he had conquered most of uh, uh, the Western Europe, he actually all the way down to India, even uh, a bit of India he went to. Uh, and Greek practices were being introduced. And so the story is uh, that we have here of those who refused to, uh, to do this, either meaning martyrdom or as we're going to see with Judas Maccabeus and his brothers uh, to fight, uh, to oppose uh, with military might these uh, practices of introducing pagan practices into Judaism. Uh, they are the basis, actually, the foundation of what we would call today Hasidism, Hasidism, Hasidic Jews, uh, s who separate themselves from the way of the world and keep very, very strictly to the mosaic practice and all. Uh, that's uh, the origins of all this. So anyway, we're going to hear these stories of faithfulness. Huh? Uh, mixed in these stories is also um, the biblical foundation for us Catholics of purgatory. It's appropriate then that in this month uh, of November, when we especially remember the souls of the faithful departed, uh, that we hear the story of purgatory and how it is that uh, we as Catholics have accepted and embraced uh, that teaching, that doctrine. Uh, we hear this beautiful story in the Gospel of Bartimaeus, uh, the son of Timaeus, a blind man, who seeing an opportunity uh, cried out to the Lord, and the response of the Lord simply was, what do you want me to do for you? That uh, question of the Lord is one I think that he addresses to each of us, isn't it? What do you want me to do for you? Humbly we would approach him with our needs, uh -huh, which we're going to do in a few moments in the general intercessions. But he reminds uh, Bartimaeus and reminds all of us that in the end, it's faith that makes us whole. Huh? It's our faith, this gift of faith that we respond to that is given to us and that we open up and use to be expressed most perfectly in charity. And so in confidence, let us pray, especially that we might be faithful. For the Pilgrim Church on earth, may God bless and strengthen each one of us, his servants. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For national and world leaders, may the Holy Spirit bring unity and peace to areas of conflict, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering from illness or disability, may God grant them this endurance and comfort, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here and those with us virtually, May all of us, who God, who God may help, 
open our hearts and evermore fully to his call to discipleship, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Patricia A. Quirk, for whom this Mass is offered, may God's merciful, God's mercy usher the, her and all who have gone before us into eternal life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And once again, in the quiet of our hearts, we lift to God our prayers and those intentions that others have entrusted to us. For all these needs, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, through the intercession of your bishop and Dr. Albert, hear the prayers that we bring to you in the name of your son, the Good Shepherd, who lives with you in the spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, working for men's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. My sisters and my brothers, pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human family, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your 
glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, his brother bishops Bernard and Joel, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit, let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift <coughs> of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should find us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Is not the cup we bless and share, the blood of Christ outpoured? Do not one cup, one loaf declare our oneness in the Lord? You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Once again, thank you for coming. Have a safe trip home. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And go in peace. Thanks be to God. And once again, let us ask our Blessed Mother for her intercession for us throughout this day. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, ave. Ave 